Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 3 of your bucket plugin or spigot plugin tutorials. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, how we can have multiple commands and then you know organize them a little bit better. So before we would have this command and it's in our main class uh, here, this command hello. And what we want to do is we want to make multiple commands now and we want to have, you know, make them more organized. So we don't want every every command to be in this class. This is our main class. We want kind of as little as possible in here with just like the main methods and stuff. We want to make separate classes for all our commands because commands can be pretty complicated um, once you start getting into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this here for now. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to click on our package, dec or not declaration, our package component up here. Uh, and we're going to make a new package inside this package. So if we click it, then we click create new package. The name of it is going to be com.bcfrost.tutorial. So whatever the package name is that you have. And then we're going to type dot commands. And this is where we're going to store all the data about all of our commands. So first of all, we want to make our command hello. So in here, we're going to right click on this new class and type hello. So that's the name of the command. So the name of the command is hello. And what we want to do is you want to type extends command and then hit control space and execute or oh no sorry doesn't extend if we go back here type implements and then command train and then hit control and space and then command executor double click that and it'll import it automatically for you if not you can hover over it and import it like that so now we're going to hover over the red line hit add unimplemented methods delete the at override delete this um, comment here so well, I guess I'll explain that quickly if in Java if you have two dashes um, like this and then you type anything it's not read by the compiler the compiler so it's just a good way of writing comments so if you're working as a team or something then um, you can just add comments to your code so it's gonna make this on command method for us and this is a bit familiar because as you'll see we already have this on command method here in our Java plugin so what we can actually do is we can just use the on command here but for here so we're going to delete this on command because we have our own on command we're going to copy this on command here right click or cut or whatever control X uh, and then paste and then we're just going to remove all of these uh, unwanted imports and save so now we have our on command and it's in here um, it's also renamed all of our arguments for us you notice we've got no errors anywhere and everything's fine so now we can actually just leave this here uh, but unfortunately the plugin doesn't actually know anymore uh, where it's going to look the plugins like when our hello gets fired when it's gets done the the plugin has no idea where to, to look for um, our command and what to do where to look for this code this code is currently foreign so what we're going to do is in our on enable here where it's being enabled we're going to type get a uh, command and then in the parentheses in the uh, in the quotation marks we type hello exactly as is written in our plugin YML. so hello and then we're going to say dot set executor new hello with a capital H and then two brackets then we're going to hover over hello and hit import hello because you see it's in a different package so it's not in the same package as the one we're in so it needs to be imported um, so we've got our command hello we've set the executor as hello so now whenever hello gets run it's going to go okay where's the executor okay it's in the hello class if we go over to the hello class we see influence command executor and we have our on command so we're also going to make just another command to show how we can make multiple commands in in a uh, in bucket. So if we again go into our commands, hit new class, and we're going to say goodbye because that's the opposite of hello. <laughs> uh, and we're going to do as before. So implements implements command executor, like so. We're going to hover over this, hit add unimplemented methods, remove the override, remove the, co the comments. We're going to rename some of these arguments. So command sender, we're going to name it sender, command cmd, this is just what I do, you can rename it to anything, it doesn't make a difference. String is going to be, oh my goodness, I can't type on this keyword, command label, and these strings are going to be called args, like so. So, um, basically, what we all, what we, all, all we want hello to do, or goodbye to do, is the same as goodbye, um, uh, first of all. And actually, sorry, um, I made a little mistake here. If you notice here, we're checking to see if the label is hello, but the label must be hello because this is only fired when um, hello is done. So we can just remove this brace here and we can remove a brace at the end 
And then if we, oops, sorry, the one underneath return false. Uh, wait, what did I do wrong? If we remove this brace here and this brace here, and then we remove this return false, sorry, there we go. So now if we hit control S and control shift uh, F, so it formats it. Uh, you notice now it just seems a little bit more inset and we know that this is the hello class. We don't have to check to see if this is the, uh, the right command for the thing. So now if we copy this code here up until where we define the player, if we just copy that just to make our lives a little bit easier, go into the goodbye class, uh, we're just checking to see if the send is a player, and we're just getting the player. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to do a different method uh, from the list of, of methods, and we're going to do a teleport method. So here you'll see in the hello class we've sent the player a message, and it says you did a command, blah, blah, blah. In this one we're going to teleport them to a coordinate. So first of all, we want to define the coordinate in which we're going to teleport them to. So to do this, we use a class called location. Uh, this is a bucket. Uh, it's in bucket. So when you see when we import it, there's lots of different places we can import it from. We want to import it from org.bucket. So location, we'll nickname this uh, L, and it's going to be equal to a new location. Hit control space, and you'll see that we have uh, the two types here. So you can have a location, and the location can either define what world it's in, the x, y, and z, or what world it's in, the x, y, and z, and then the yaw and pitch, so which direction they're looking at. For the, today's tutorial, we just want um, the, the first one. So to get a world in bucket, we're going to type bucket uh, dot get world, and I'm just going to quickly check, because I'm not 100% sure, uh, but my server name... Uh, my server world is called world. So there's one way you can get in the world. You can get the world is by just doing this. So we can type uh, world, world, and that's going to get the the world name world. However, for today's tutorial, we want to get the world the player is in. So we type player dot get world. We can get most information about. We can get all information about a player from the player object here. Uh, and we're going to just teleport them uh, to three coordinates. So we're going to teleport them to to zero, uh, sixty four zero like so and then we'll send them a message afterwards so player.send message I don't know why it says it's called goodbye but I mean you know that's how it is and we're just going to send them a message and we're going to set the chat color to red and you see we're concatenating as before so import chat color make sure to put these in the uh, quotation marks and we're going to say and then goodbye goodbye exclamation mark and then we're going to return true because the command has been completed successfully Hit Control Shift O to organize our imports up there, and save. Now we need to teleport the player to this location, so we're going to say player uh, player dot teleport, um, and we're going to teleport them to L. And that's how we do that. So now we need to actually also initialize this as before. If you remember, here we've initialized uh, hello, and we've set the executor. So if we just copy this code, and instead of it being hello, it's going to be goodbye and the executor class is goodbye, like so. But goodbye is not imported, so we need to hover over it and import goodbye. You'll see it organizes their imports nicely, so they all come from the same kind of package. So now, if we save this, you'll notice we have no errors. If we go into our plugin.yml, we're gonna copy these two lines, paste them underneath, change hello to goodbye, add a description. Our description's going to be uh, teleports to the, <laughs> to the good, I can't type goodbye area, like so. <laughs> um, and that's it. So if we refresh our project, export next, finish, and there's finish, okay, and yes, and I'll see you guys in the game. All right, so we're in the game, and if we just do both our commands, or if we um, do that thing help, so help, um, again, you'll see we have hello and goodbye. So it teleports to the goodbye area, blah, blah, blah. So if we do hello, You'll see it the same thing. So you did the command venture cube, and if we do slash goodbye, then it's going to <laughs> send us a message saying goodbye and teleport us to zero sixty four zero thereabouts. Seeing as I moved a little bit, you'll see it teleports us to the area zero sixty four zero. Uh, these chunks don't seem to have loaded in, however, or it's just really a glitchy area, which I think it actually is. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Uh, and one thing I didn't actually show in the previous tutorial with uh, commands is, is what happens in the console if we type it. So if I just get the landing. Um, so if I go into the console uh, and I type hello, 
uh, you say it in your super player chooses command, and if I say goodbye, sorry about the message there, uh, it also says um, your super player chooses command. So that is the tutorial for today, and I hope this guys, I hope this helped you guys, and I will see you next time.